Hello farmers, it's Farmer Deb. And if you are new to the game and you are struggling to find your way around, you're a little confused as to where to find the things that you need, this video is for you. Because today we're gonna take a quick tour of all of these buttons and menus that are on your screen. We're gonna start right up here at the top where you're gonna see your farm username and your profile picture. When you join the game, you are given a default profile picture. And as you play the game, you're going to win profile pictures and you also have a chance to buy them. So when you're ready to change your profile picture, all you have to do is click on it. And over here, you can scroll through any of the pictures that you have available and then click the little hand and it will change it. The next thing over here, you're going to see all the information about your farm, how much farm cash you have, how much gold you have, what your experience level is. This one right here is the big farm time. Notice that this is the time of the game. So that may be different than your own time, depending on where you live. Over here, this shows how many workers you have available for you. And then above that is your happiness level, which obviously you want to be in the green, not where mine is. These are big farm sales that change periodically. This one is your notifications and pending rewards. So if you click on this, you're gonna see two different sections here. One says reward notifications and the other is pending rewards. When you play events in this game, you win rewards. Most of them are just automatically assigned to you. They're put into your inventory. You don't have to do anything. That's what's showing on the left side of the screen. These are all of the things that you have won and the events that you won them from. You don't have to accept them. This is just information. You can clear it and then all of those are already in your inventory box. But on the right side are pending rewards. These are rewards that are yours, but you do have to accept them to use them. Most of the time, these are your extra construction tokens. And they have it set up this way because you can only use 50 tokens at one time. So this gives you a chance to not waste tokens. All you have to do is click show and it'll show you what you have earned. And if you want to accept it, you click select. If you don't, just click go back. So they will stay there. You can have up to 100 at one time. The next one here is your menu op. These are different options and settings. So just real quick, this one right here at the very top is the Big Farm Forums, where you can go and discuss the game with other players. This one logs you out of the game. And the one that has the little picture in a picture, that will expand your screen. So that gives you full screen. And this one lets you zoom in and out. This little guy with the headset, this is support. If you ever have any problems in the game, if you were supposed to win something and you didn't, or if something happened that shouldn't have happened, you can contact support and explain your issue to them. And then I'm gonna skip down here to the little wrench. This is your settings for the game. A lot of new players don't go into their settings and change anything, but there are some important things here. For instance, these two sections for animations and the quality of the game, um, I always choose to turn my animations off. When you first join, seeing smoke come out of the chimneys and all of your animals moving is really cute. But after you've played for a while, it starts to get a little old. And having your animations on will slow down your game. So I have found for me personally, turning that off helps to improve my gameplay. Show weather effects, this is normally only during the winter months, they will occasionally do a snowfall effect. So if that starts to irritate you, you can turn it off. This is the quality of your graphics on the game. You have high, medium, and low. I always turn mine on low. Again, I feel like that helps to improve the quality of my game and prevent it from lagging. And I don't see any difference in my graphics. So I keep mine on low. You can change your password, change your farm name, Next, we have the ability to turn off notification boxes that will pop up on your screen and also turn off fishing reports that you get when you harvest your boats in the fishing area. The last section is for gold confirmation. I'm not sure if this is by default turned on or off for new players, but it's definitely something that you want to look into because this will prevent you from spending gold that you didn't want to spend. It is really easy to click on a button by mistake in this game. And if it's something that costs gold and you click on it, you it's yours. There's no 
are you sure you want to spend this? So the goal of confirmation prevents that accidental spending by making a separate box pop up that asks if you're sure you want to spend the gold. And you can also set the amount that you want this to pop up for. So click right here. I think 250 is the default. I just left it there. All right, so now moving on over here, we have our world map. This is where all of the farms that you have available to you are found. So you've got your main farm, gourmet farm, flower farm, the horse farm, member of a co-op, then you're gonna have this one for your co-op village. If you have your fishing area open, which you really should work on, then this will be available to you. Um, the next one is our decoration valley where you can store some of your extra decorations. And the last one is a, just a notification that lets you know when the boat that comes in on your main farm is in. All right, so now we're gonna get down to the main game menus, which are down here at the bottom of your screen. This is where everything is found. And I'm gonna start with the treasure chest. The treasure chest down here, this is your inventory. So everything that you earn in this game is stored in your inventory. And the inventory is divided into sections. The first section here is for your local inventory. These are all of the things that are assigned to the farm that you are currently on. I'm on my main farm right now. So this tab is showing all of the decorations that are assigned to my main farm. The next one is your drop box. These are all of the decorations that I have available. Mystery boxes, gold theme boxes, anything that I've won in any of the events, events go into my drop box. This one for collectibles, if you are a member of a co-op, then the collectibles are what you will use to help your co-op finish their co-op projects. You'll still win them even if you're not in a co-op, but if you're in a co-op, this is where they're found. Next, we have equipment. So again, things that you win in the game, like toolboxes, certificates, all of the coins, the gold mining licenses, everything is in your inventory here under equipment. Then you have flags. You win flags for different events that you can put on your farm. Gifts and pranks, these are things that you earn that you can give to another player. So these are gifts that you can gift to another player. You add it to a barn or a field and it will increase their harvest. For instance, if I use this rake on a member's field, when they harvest that field, they're gonna get 50% more harvest. This next section, themed buildings, are buildings that you will either buy or win in the game. These are buildings that are not found in your build section. These are ones that are normally won or maybe bought with championship coins. Okay, so that is your inventory. I'm not gonna talk too much about the achievements and booster board. That really needs its own video, but I will show you that as you are playing the game, you do win certain achievements. So if you, I don't know, collect a certain amount of eggs or you harvest so much um, corn, you will win rewards. So this is where all of those rewards can be found. <clears throat> if you are a member of a co-op, this is where you can send messages to your members. You can also send messages to other people in the game, even if you're not in a co-op. The multiplayer feature button right here is for, mainly for players that are in a co-op. This is going to give you information about the cooperative that you're in. It will show all of the members and the co-op information. You can also click up here to see all of the rankings of all of the players in the game. So this will give you the rank of every single person that's playing the game. And you can also see all of the co-ops that are in the game. Next, we have the market hall. The market hall is also over here. You can click on the market hall from here or from your menu. And this is where you will fill contracts. You can fill contracts from regular fields and um, animals and things on your main farm. You can also fill them with fish. And then if you're a high enough level to build a dairy, then you can also do dairy contracts here. Then we have our barn. Again, there's two places. I can click my barn here, but I can also just click on a barn. Either one is gonna bring up that menu. And this is gonna tell you everything that is stored in your barn. And it's also gonna show you what is stored in your barn from all the different farms. It's separated by farms. So the first one here is my main farm. And you can see you've got all of the crops that you harvest. They all go in here. 
everything. And on this, in this menu, you have an option where you can sell. So I have corn, I can buy it or I can sell it. If I want to make some money and sell some of these items, I can. If I'm running low and I have the money to spare, I can also buy them here as well. You also have a section for your gourmet farm and your flower farm and of course your fishing region. If you're in a co-op, this is where anything that you have grown or produced in the co-op village will go. This shows anything that you have available for your greenhouse. And then this is the equipment. Again, this is just a second place to find all the equipment that you have available to you. The next one here is our build menu. This is where you're going to build the regular items in your farm, the regular fields, the regular um, chicken coops and the regular cow sheds. You can just click on it and then buy it and build it on your farm. You also can build decorations here. You've got your housing and storage. You've got your processing buildings and then any specialty buildings like your water tower in your research lab. And once you start to collect diamonds, you can also build community buildings. So the last thing on this main menu down here we have is the layout mode, which I didn't show on this toolbar, but goes really well with this button that gives you an outline view. This is great if you are trying to maximize the space on your farm. It's really hard to see empty space when everything is in 3D. But if you click the outline view, it puts everything in a flat aerial view. Now everything is just boxes. Now you can figure out how to arrange all the boxes so that you can get the most in a small amount of space. And the layout mode will allow you to move things around without interfering with your game. So here I can click on something and I can store it down here as I'm rearranging and moving things around. So it gives me this little like work area. Um, I can put it back by just clicking cancel. If I click cancel, anything that I put in there will just automatically go back to my farm. Again, this is something that needs to be in a separate, separate video. It's very helpful and we will go in more detail on that later. And the tab right here with the blue ribbon on it is for missions. Mission is where you are competing with other players in the game. You're all collecting one item and the goal is to see who can collect the most and then you earn reputation points for it. So this is how you would start a mission right there. And I think that covers everything on our main game menu. The only thing we have left is this over here on the left side. This is your, I don't know the official name, I call it the task menu because these are all of the tasks that the game has you working on so that you can earn points and rewards. Some of them are daily tasks, the ones with the little calendar. And then some of these are just ones that pop up and as you finish it, a new one will pop up. So if you are new to the game and you're just starting out, these tasks are really important. They really help you gain. Some of them will give you gold. Some of them will give you extra experience points and extra cash. And it's a really great way to build up your game. Plus when you're starting the game, if you follow those tasks, the tasks are really a smart way of building your farm. If you follow along with those tasks, rather than just trying to go rogue and build whatever, those tasks actually lead you to building a very strong farm. So it's really good to follow along with those. If you see anything with a fish on it, any kind of fishing task where they have you fishing or buying something for fishing, definitely do those because when you complete all of the fishing tasks, then you will have your fishing area opened up and we're going to talk all about that in another video, but it's like the best way to earn money in this game. So I think I have covered everything. It's a lot. You sort of have to play around with it, figure out where everything is. Once you get used to the game, it's not so bad. If there's anything that I didn't cover or a question that you still have about any of the menus on this game, please feel free to put a message in the comments and I will get back to you. Or if you have any other questions about the game, I'm happy to answer those as well. So until our next video, everyone have a great night. Bye.